Hi gents, since I'm making my kind of a channel, not just a random videos, and if I'm trying to teach, I just have to make such a kind of video. Right, so as a beginner, you manage to watch some videos on YouTube, different methods, different approaches, and it may even contradict. Uh, lucky you if not. And you're asking yourself a question, where the hell am I supposed to start with? Certainly not from watching another hundred videos. As good as video can be, well, it may be as good as gold, but you have to treat it only as an extra material to learn. So there is no way, not for myself, not for anybody else, able to cover all the aspects just in one video. Another thing to remember, some videos are made not to teach you, but only for the sake of video. For example, I know some really good and experienced chemists, but they do not know anything about the refining process. You may watch such a video where some fella did some gold precipitation or anything else, out of lab-grade reagents, and you won't be able to repeat it. This is because such a mixture, it will never happen in real life, but only when you use lab-grade chemicals and you make in gold-bearing solution kind of artificially. From another hand, I know quite experienced gold refiners, and for whatever reason, chemistry is not their strongest point. This is also not a good thing. So yes, do not start copying blindfolded anybody, not even myself. You always think before you make any move. So what is the next thing to do when you watch a video and uh, you're trying to understand what the hell this fella is talking about? You go and you read. This is what you have to do. Certainly, you go to Wikipedia, which is far from perfect, with quite a lot of mistakes. Still, this is the best reading for general public. From another hand, when you read a plain text, let's say about Aquaregia, to dissolve 100 gram of gold, you should mix 375 milliliters of 36% of hydrochloric acid with uh, 125 milliliters of 68% of nitric acid. And uh, when it sounds like a Zulu language, this is where video comes handy. So yes, it will only help you to visualize the process, uh, maybe some useful tips or maybe not so much. General chemistry is a must. You do not have to dig way too much, you just have to understand some basic things, really basic ones, like uh, what are the bases and acids and how they react. Otherwise you're risking to damage yourself, uh, seriously. Safety, this is important. I will try to make a couple of safety videos myself. Definitely, I just have to. Another good place to visit is a gold refining forum. Just type in goldrefiningforum.com. I'm not affiliated with them anyhow, and uh, I'm not even a member of that forum. This is because I'm running my own gold refining forum, which is in Russian language. But yes, I visited goldrefiningforum.com quite many times, and I must tell you, there are a couple of really experienced guys that will be able to help you or to guide you before you do anything wrong. So yes, it's better to ask somebody else's advice before you do anything wrong. Books. There are a couple of good books. The first good book to read is um, Small Scale Refining of Jewelers Waste, written by uh, Roland Lowen. And the second good book, and probably the most famous, and everybody will recommend it, is written by Carl Morrison Hoke, CM Hoke, Refining Precious Metal Wasters. Okay, let's talk about that book a bit more. This book, it could be as good as gold, but there are a couple of serious cons. First, this book is still copyrighted, it means you have to buy it. Uh, go to eBay or Amazon and it will cost you anywhere between $60 to $100. I must tell you, it is quite pricey for the book that is obsolete by modern gold refining standards. All the info is just from beginning of last century. Even my videos are more advanced. Nevertheless, this is a great book, it covers a lot, and I mean a lot, and it will give you great basics. So yes, this is a good book, but it is obsolete. Myself, I wouldn't pay more than 5 for this book. Well, this is just me. Maybe you will be able to find some free scans on the internet, but myself, I'm against any piracy. If you have to pay, you have to pay. Second, this book is extremely oversized. There are 380 something pages on this book. If to consider this book is not any kind of analytical chemistry, its size could be 100 pages at the very most. And the third thing, uh, this book is extremely boring. You need a special talent to write such a boring book. Seriously. 
And the last thing this book uses really silly measurements, something I do not like. Uh, maybe if you're in US it makes more sense for you, but it uses really silly old-fashioned imperial measurements equally mixed with a kind of uh, housewife measurements like um, tablespoon, teaspoon. Apart from that, this is a really good book to read. And uh, at last, if you were patient enough to watch my video till the very end, here is my giveaway gift. If there were no books before CM Hawk, uh, certainly there were. All you have to do is just to find them and something I did it for you already. Go and read the description and it will give you a link to download a couple of decent gold refining books. Also we'll try to update it as much as I can. No silly pop-ups, no porn, no silly registrations, just go and download it. None of them is any kind of pirated copy, all of these books are in public domain, free to use for anybody. Just go and download them, if you read them you will learn a lot. I hope you'll find it useful and thanks for watching my channel.